Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and we are back in our um, nuclear uh, uranium producing thing area where we're going to make some nuclear fuel. Now for the train, I think what we had here was we were going to put uh, nuclear fuel cells on the train. We really don't need this many things for that. Probably just one box uh, if we're to be completely honest with ourselves here. And then maybe, well, maybe two boxes, maybe two just for swiftness in loading speed. And then we'll have, um, yeah, I think that will work. Now this train that we have here, the uranium train, I think it's, it is this one. Okay. So it looks like it is empty for now. Let's put this in. Yeah. We'll go here. Base sulfuric acid. Okay. It is coming here. So we'll just wait for it to come and then we'll set it onto manual mode. Once it arrives, uh, we'll also change the color of the train. Cause apparently I forgot to do that. Uh, let's see, do we want to get, I, we can start getting research for other stuff as well, but I do want to wait for this train to come out here. Let's go ahead and, uh, Put, place this down. It's fine. Come on, bot. Let's go back. There we go. Thank you very much. Excellent. Okay. And we're going to stop the train. Manual, please. There we go. Now then, um, so what we we'll want to do here is I think what we want to do is place maybe like two sets of uh, nuclear fuel in here. We really don't need more than that. I mean, even two is probably way, way overkill for what we need. I don't know what the stack size is. I guess we could look. If we go and request some here, stack size is 50. So yeah, we're only going to need one stack at a time. These uh, we will make into one stack as well. You know what? Let's just put 50. That's plenty. And then here... Um, this is just going to be, uh, used up cells, I think. So we'll just do one row of these just in case we have other things that we need to take out. I don't anticipate anything, but you never can tell. We might use this for redistribution of like uranium ammo. If we do that, I don't, I don't exactly know, but, um, we'll figure it out. No worries. Uh, we'll take two of these. Thank you very much. Yes. Output the used up fuel cells. Important to do that. Now then, uh, right. We want to make fuel cells here. How are we doing on electricity? Are we, yeah, we are charging our accumulators better. I think it's better than it was before, or maybe, yeah, we flagged a little bit here, but it is getting better overall because by and large, those furnaces have stopped producing because we don't need quite that much iron. We, we really don't. So they're, they're pretty much still here. Uh, not much working there. So go ahead and get combat robotics here and see, uh, what else we can get efficiency module three. Wow. Okay. Let's put that in the queue as well. Follow a robot count. Oh, I don't know if I ever want to get into that. To be honest, it's so much stuff. Weapon shooting speed. Yeah, might as, might as well get it. Refined flammables as well. That'll be fine. All right, just queue those up um, and let those get going. Now then here, this is where we want to go for the next part of things. Uh, we'll go ahead and maybe put that there or even better, we'll just do this this way. Uh-huh. I think, is that correct? Player's inventory full. That seems inconvenient. Let's, um, oopsies. Oh boy, oh boy. How did it get that full of stuffs? I might... This is the blueprint for that. We're probably just going to trash that. The mining is also trashable because it doesn't have the right belts. This will just make this trashable. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, wait, we'll keep that one because we, it's nice to have one blueprint that we can do stuff with. How did I get so much other stuff? What, what is the other stuff that I picked up? I don't even know. It's like, hey, how did this get here? Uh, okay, that that's fine for now. It's just fine. It will be fine. 
All right, and these are going, these are kind of circling around. So now we're going to get uh, two different things here. We need um, a couple of different machines. Let's see, this one is going to make uh, fuel. Wait, how do we make the fuel? Do, do we not make it in a... Oh, we might need an assembler for this. This one is nuclear fuel reprocessing. Okay, that one is... Yes. This one gets the reprocessing done. Okay. So this one gets a line in from the train station. And we'll put that into here. And it takes the fuel cells and makes them into uh, the greens there. So we're going to gonna take that out this way. So yeah, those come on that side of things. Actually, we could just do this as well, just to place them on that side um, to connect that up. And this will come from the train station. I want to grab um, this maybe here or something. Let's just copy this length. Oopsies. No, no. I don't want the power poles. Hold on. There we go. We'll just get our bots. All right. There we go. Ah, one of them is the wrong way. No. Oh no. <laughs> That's not ideal. Okay, so the first one, the top one, actually goes here. That's just fine for the reprocessing. And this one is going to go the opposite way. And that's a slight mistake there. Just slight. There we go. No harm done. It's just fine. All right, we will add a power pole there to get this to work. And I believe we need a an assembling machine for the other parts, which is going to be making the uranium fuel cells. So this one takes iron plates, uranium 235 and 238 and converts them into fuel cells, 10x uranium fuel cells. So, um, hey, guess what? We have some stuff here. <laughs> Isn't this great? <laughs> Isn't this great? So what we need to do is have, we'll have one belt going out. That's going to be the fuel cells. Uh, we can do an output inserter this way. And then we're going to have one coming in. Actually, we'll put this down here so we can have a power pole nicely there. And then this belt is going to go here and grab in these bits and pieces. We need both 235 and 238. Uh, and then this one is going to get some iron plates from over here. Now, uh, this is kind of fun, actually. What I'm going to do is we'll get our miners. Uh, just a few of them down here. Four should be more than enough. And then we're just going to to do something a little bit different. Uh, did I get rid of all of my... Ha! Ah, but we have the building train. It's fine. Oh no! They're right there! Aha! Yay! 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 So put down this. I forget how many to how many it is. Ah, uh, to be honest. That's uh, not ideal. Actually, we should put them on the other side, shouldn't we? Yes, we should. Two, three... I don't know how to calculate either, but they do have extra productivity as well. We have been having to have many more miners per these. We probably only need like two miners and say, I don't know, one smelter. Because we really don't need a lot of uh, stuff. And then we can output here. If we do this on one side and it will be okay. Excellent. 
Um, all right. Now we don't want to do. We don't want to go too far on this. We might shut it down here, and we just want iron plates to the right. Let's see, there we go. Filter plates. Yes, great. But we're already producing so many. <laughs> this is funny. Oh, we already probably took it into our trash. Yes. Okay, get these things also trashed. There we are. Boom. And there we are. And we have this is this is probably the tiniest array you'll ever see. But this thing only needs iron plates. Oh, it needs ten every ten seconds. So I think we'll be producing enough. And here we go. We are producing some. Uh, I don't know if we can use productivity modules in this. Probably not. But there it goes. Outputting all of the fuel onto the line here. So now this train is going to have another stop. Oh, we forgot to make the train green. There we go. We just copied and pasted the station on top of this. It does not change the um, the schedule at all when you copy paste. So, okay, we have 10. We have another 10. Look at this. We are, wow, filling up. Things are great. Things are going well. Now then, to make this nuclear uh, setup, I'm going to go down this way. Let's see. I think we set over here, maybe. That might be okay. Let's just, oops. Let's take the train into schedule mode here and just click out here. Um, and then we'll... Instead of having this weight condition, we'll just do it an item count as always. Wait. All right. Here we go. Moving along quite well here. And there we go. Very nice looking good okay so we are now here uh i want to see how far we probably need to i'll well, just put it in manual mode for now we may take that train back up into our pocket again i think this probably should be okay uh with stuff if this is too far away we can always just use pumps and i'm really not worried about these resources here the coal is nice it's 234 but we have over here some 95 over there we might need to search for more coal if we need it but coal is right now just being used for plastic uh not much else so it's not something that we need tons of i think this might be an okay spot let's see this is the nearest spot so let's take our nuclear reactor blueprint now remember I um the, I have a tutorial for this on YouTube, uh, if you want to look at it, uh, and it talks about how to calculate all of these things, and um, so you shouldn't need to stress over that. Uh, I'm not going to go over it in this particular uh, playthrough because I've already done the tutorial on it, so it should be easy to to sort out. Yeah, this is much too far away from this side, I think, but it should be fine. Uh, we can always use pumps to make sure that water pressure is maintained. We could set it out a little bit like this. So hopefully our bots now have stuff to do. Great. Excellent. And we'll just let them place things as we're, uh, as we're out here. There's plenty of bots in the system. And then we need, just need to make a train station for them to drop off the needed uh, fueling things and all that kind of stuff. So let's walk this way. Yep, and all of this is within our construction range. That's why I'm holding the deconstruction planner, uh, is because you can see the, the construction range of your bots there and um, whether everything's covered or not. And kind of how far to the sides you can go as well. Okay, so it looks like now we're good. Go to the next area. Go back this way. Just make sure that we have everything covered. Looks fine so far. Uh, I do want to change this layout a little bit. Uh, because we don't need all the undergroundies. It's really not necessary. We'll change this and kind of fix it a bit. Uh, by the way, if you want these blueprints, they are in my Google Drive. So please feel free to use them if you like. 
uh, or design your own from the calculations in the tutorial video. All right, looking really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of this stuff because it's completely not necessary. Um, I might leave. Ah, yes, I think that's what I'll do. I'll leave the those things in there and we're going to have a loop system of uh, blue undergroundies. Now we're going to have heat pipes from here like this coming out uh, to have another grid on this side. So that's something that we keep track of as well. So we'll just add in some there. Uh, okay, that's fine. And let's just uh, how do I? Oh, there we go. Ghosty. There we go. This one goes here. And then this one is gonna go. Let's see. One, one, two. Wait, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here. Okay, like that. That should be good enough. Great. And what we can do here is since these, <laughs> the heat pipes do not go underground. So that is important to note. We're going to copy this whole thing here. There we go. Yay. And here and there and there and there. Okay, nice. And then this one goes this way and we'll just turn it round for here and there we go all right so what we want to do with this is we want to have a an insert or a, uh, a thing here like this let's go this way take this one that way and things are going to go around this whole thing now Obviously, this thing is outputting to the far side of the belt. So the near side of the belt is where we're going to put the fuel. And what we can do is this. We need to take off the off to the right side. We need to take off the used fuel cells. So that's going to go down like this. Um, oh, and this is this is just perfect, isn't it? This is quite nice. Um, and then the regular fuel cells will keep circling around here and getting these reactors sorted out. So that's part of the thing that we need to do. Um, the other thing is the water. So do we have enough pipes? Probably not. We need to have many offshore pumps as well. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven columns uh, and that's seven pumps. One, two, five. Okay, great. I think, you know what? I'm going to make the train station. We can have this kind of looping around like this. And I think that'll be just fine. Um, let me copy this one for the length right now. Let's see. Do this kind of an ish copy like that. And then we'll put these train wagons ish there. Okay, this can go away. Don't need any of these pipes should have taken them off in the blueprint. So this is going to be where we take stuff off. So take that off. Um, do that there. And have our boxes here. We need two of those inserters as well. There we go. Uh, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. We need to be careful about this. We need to make sure that they're on the correct side. So they need to be on the inside of things. I think that will work. Now then, this one needs to work a little bit differently. And here I was hoping that this would be slightly elegant, but <laughs> it ended up being very spaghetti. <laughs> Okay, so these are only going to input the fuel cells on the inside, which is perfect. All right, let's get our power hooked up here as well. So these don't keep on blinking. Well, they're, they're going to keep on blinking until we uh, connect this here. But uh, let's take these off. 
These are going to go this way and that's fine there. Just make sure that we take off the correct thing, which is going to be the fuel cells. Good, good. Very nice. Uh, and I guess with this we can just kind of, uh, let's just go straight for a bit. Straight for another bit. Nope. Keep on straighting. Straight. There we go. That's what we want. And take this one and go this way. I think we just want to just kind of a gentle turn there. There we are. That's what we want. Excellent. That's the end of the line. Um, and it'll give our trains a place to turn around as well. Not that we really need it, but it is there. So let's take this, get a couple of signals to break up the blocks. There we go. Uh, right there. Sounds fine. And take power over here. Gray tree trunk in the way. Great. Thanks. Are we good? No, we're not quite good yet. Nope. We need another tower. There we are. Looking just fine now. Okay. So we have these guys that are not powered on this side. Let's just add a power pole there and we're ready to go. Okay. We're going to call this station um, power. Well, we'll call it nuclear power one. Nuclear power one instead. Uh, so I'm going to tell the other train. Let's see. It is that one. So this is going to the, the base. Then it's going to uranium one. And then I think we can go to nuclear power one. And then five seconds of inactivity. I think that should be fine. Let's go ahead and start this onto automatic mode. And we're going to pick up our other train here. Our other locomotive, I should say. Just grab it up so that the other train can come in. And we're going to get some stuff going on soon. But we also need to quickly make these, um, yeah, give these a, a water source. There we go. And I'm going to just copy this grouping here and then just take these along and then copy it again so we can get closer and closer. Put it at max distance, even though it doesn't apply to some of the nearer ones. But I want to put down, uh, let's get rid of, oh, the cable is actually a good thing to have there. Ah, it's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll change it when I need it. Uh, right. So the pumps, let's put that here. That's fine. One. That's fine here. Good, good. One there is good, good, good. It's just, just okay. Just delightful. It'll be fine. Let's add that there and then just kind of snake that around this way. And then these guys can also get their sort of uh, just desserts or interests or whatever you want to call it. There we go. Boom. Excellent. So now we can provide the reactors with the water they need, or not the reactors, but the boilers. So the way nuclear power works in a nutshell is that each of these reactors needs fuel and they burn fuel at a constant rate. They're not like steam engines. Um, steam engines will stop burning fuel or the boilers will stop burning fuel when they have had enough. Uh, or when they're produced enough steam. But nuclear reactors work at a constant rate. And as you see, they have a temperature. It's 233 C right now. And that will go up as they warm up. Now, this um, temperature is being transferred <clears throat> along the heat pipes, which are these uh, coppery things, and all the way to the end of the line. If you notice, the end of the line has 95 C, and it's beginning, it's 233 C. So the power or the heat is used up um, by the boilers, and it does degrade somewhat over distance. So that's why uh, most of the um, setups that you'll see include uh, quite compact designs because you can't just spread these heat pipes all over the map because they do actually lose heat over distance. So you want to keep this as compact as possible. So for example, the next array that we put down, um, and that, that's the other thing is the neighbor bonus. Let's see. Uh, I want to just show you the next grouping that we're going to put down is going to be like this 
on the other side and we're gonna get water from the other side of the world there that's why i wanted these uh two water bodies like this um so that will give us enough water to power stuff as you see we have plenty of water we're at temperature 330 degrees right now the reactants themselves they get bonuses from touching their neighbors uh, and they have to have the full side touching not just like you know one piece here or there like you can't do it just like like this you know and have kind of a funny little design no, no. they have to have the full side touching um, and then you see the ones on the end have a 200% bonus, whereas this one has 300%. It's because it's th surrounded by three reactors, and this one only has two on the corners there. So that's why when we add the next reactor set, it's going to be facing this way, because this is a little bit too wide. Um, and we don't want to stretch the heat pipes too far. So we'll put the rest of them facing that way. And that way, these inner reactors are going to get um, as much... Um, you know as much bonus as we can have now that yes you can surround one reactor and have this one have a one two three four hundred percent bonus but then you have to fuel it manually and we don't do that because we like automation uh so there's no way to do that with uh vanilla inserters okay we've already generated some waste let's just make sure this is going into our our area it should with these uh the splitter i love these priority splitters like this this makes this whole setup so much easier we are at 500 degrees. Now that should hopefully transfer to these. They eventually heat up to, I think it's 999 degrees. So um, hopefully soon, soon TM. But this will start generating steam uh, soonish, I think. I forget what temperature it is exactly. Oh, there it is. I think it's 500. There we go. Look at this, the steam pipes filling with steam. Um, there was, there was like, voom. And probably the end things are working here. Wait, I can't see. No! Let's get out of here. Nope, not yet. They, they need to be using their steam very shortly. Let's see, this, this has a little bit of steam. Oh, there went another one. Okay, so we're heating up the whole array here. So these guys should start very soon, I hope. Unless we don't need... Do we not need the steam? We surely do. Oh, wow. Because we're disconnected from the main network. They have nothing to power. <laughs> oh, God. No. Okay, this is 200 megawatts. So somehow we're still not connected to this. Yeah, it's because these power poles are disconnected. Silly me. There we go. And steam is happening. Boom. We have power. This is great. So now... We, uh, we can probably see a huge spike. There we go. There's the spike. Isn't that nice? <laughs> That's great. Um, yeah, so it's, um, we start off over here, uh, and that takes the pressure off of the accumulators. In fact, it starts charging the accumulators. Uh, that's this spike right over here, um, where the accumulators were consuming the charge. You can see the consumption right over here. Uh, and then it's going to kind of provide us what we need. And then um, I believe solar will take priority over this. So the, the steam engines will stop producing. Oh, looks like they're already done, aren't they? Are we? Yep, we are at decent temperature. We're still, uh, hopefully, yep. Yep, the reactors are up to 700 degrees almost. And then the boilers are taking that in. Looks like it's, uh, they, yeah, the temperature is 668 there. The steam is a temperature of 500 degrees. But these guys are not performing because we don't need it, I think. I think we just need the solar. So, yeah, there are the, the uh, nuclear steam turbines. Wow, look at this. This is our normal curve here. And this is how much nuclear is giving us. This is just crazy. So much power. That's so good. But anyway, so this is working. We have the waste cells being taken off. Let's go and find our train real quick. I kind of want to see how this is all working. Okay, why don't you go to nuclear power one, please? So that one was waiting for inactivity. It's kind of interesting that it was waiting. Let's just see it, on, I guess, on the map here. We have 50 cells, fuel cells. Hopefully it's going to go and... It's going to come out here for sure. Whoopsies. Nope, nope. OK, 
Okay, it will arrive soonish, and I just want to make sure that it picks up all this stuff and drops off some more fuel cells. Oh, let's limit these boxes as well. I almost forgot about that. That's kind of important. Otherwise, these boxes will fill to max, and then we <laughs> we, we would have um, prematurely used our uranium-235, shall we say. I don't want to say the word wasted, because we can use it in the future, but uh, yeah, we would have just used it prematurely basically, uh, because we don't need it until way in the future. All right, I want to take, uh, go on the train. We have 12 used fuel cells. Let's go ahead and go to uranium one. Normally it would go and get some more sulfuric acid, but we don't actually need any. We still have 14,000 in, um, in the tanks there. So let's just see this, unload these guys and then reprocess them into the sort of base materials, uh, because that's what we can do at the moment. and get going good 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 deal this is quite exciting yay going back to the world and check things out this is so oh wow look at how many fuel cells have been made whoa tons and tons and tons Coverex process is paying off that's for sure but you you really don't need the Coverex process before you start making this this it, I think the next playthrough I do, I'm, I'm going to purposefully not do the Coverex process. Wait, did these already... Did those get whisked away already? Wait. Products finished. None. Oh, there they are. There they are. Okay, so they are going into the machine. Great. And these are being processed. All right, you need five for each um, process. And it's going to give us three green bits back. And that sounds fine. All right, we'll watch this finish. And by the time the other trains come around, I think this is this is probably going to be plenty fast. I don't really think we need to put any speed modules in here or anything like that. But let's just watch this go, and then it should output the used up bits on this line here. And that there it goes. There they go. Into... The boxes. Well, we're going to start backing up on this here shortly, which is not ideal. I think what we do need to do is we need to put a weight condition. Okay, let's let's do this before we finish the episode today. This is kind of important. We need to stop this um, belt. And we need to say if something. So let's get a decider combinator. Do I have any of those? Hello. Okay. Let's put this in here and just hook this belt up to here. So if and we need to enable disable, oh, we, we probably don't need to hook it up. Well, I don't know if we do any, let's see. Um, we need to enable disable and we need to hook it up, not to those. We need to hook it up to these chests here. Um, and I think we'll hook it up to these last let's hook it up to the last one or well we'll hook up it up to all of them where is our this needs to go here instead no go away here please thank you and then we'll make a little bit more and we'll hook these all up And then I will add a power pole because what's going to happen is well and this is already happening to be fair Okay, put one there. So we need to hook this up here and to here. There we go. There. Okay, good. Now then. Um, we need to see how much is in these boxes. We have 48 times 100, which is 4,800 times. Let's see. One, two, three, four, what? Two for six, seven boxes. So times seven is 33,600. So I think if we have more than, I don't know, 25,000, then we should stop the flow here. And, and I'll just talk about the reason for that in a second. Let me just set this up. Okay, if this is greater, than 25,000 and yes it really is that much we need to enable disable oh wait 
It is greater. Hold on. How much is in here? It's 33. Oh, it's enabled. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. If it's less than. We need to enable. Oh, enabled condition. I didn't see that. Yep. Okay. So the thing about this is that what we're doing here is we need to prioritize this, um, this line coming from here. Uh, because we don't want this to back up because if this backs up then nothing gets made there's nothing that can you know these machines won't be able to output if this line is full and so therefore the whole process is going to stop so when we have too many bits of uranium-238 in here we want to stop this flow entirely so these are already backed up here this is going to have to drain at some point but the, this you can see the ore has already stopped going down this line because we are just full up on all of this so anyway that's going to enable us to keep our nuclear processing program pretty clean um and and keep on going as far as we can you can see we're already stacking up on the 235 it's happily going its way we have many many fuel cells backed up over here we have plenty of uh, in fact i'm gonna stop i think i'm gonna well these are actually going okay i think we just need one miner though i don't think we need two let's just take that off there and that'll be fine yep this is plenty for one furnace and obviously we don't need any more fuel cells it's running fast enough plenty fast enough so there we go that is how to build that and um thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time